gregvan.com is going to be your one-stop home repair, remodeling, and construction website in the future. What you're looking at here is a picture of a structural glue lamp beam and a pipe next to it. This is a good example of a smart plumber who knows that you're not allowed to cut or notch into structural beams, especially glue lamp beams. If a plumber or a framer notches into one of these beams, there's a good chance that the entire beam will need to be replaced, so be warned. Let's see what it would look like above the glue lamp beam. Now this isn't the exact picture, but it's one that I found that's close enough to give you a pretty good idea. There's a load-bearing wall directly on top of the glue lamp beam, and the plumbing is notched to go around the glue lamp beam and would actually be sticking out of the bottom of the wall. Now, this is a laundry area so the area could easily be covered up by a washer or dryer and wouldn't be that big of a problem. So if this was located in an area where the bottom was going to be exposed, it could be a problem and you might need to fur out the entire wall. Let's get back to the structural beam. I told you that you cannot notch any floor beams but that might not be the case if the structural engineer gives you the okay. Now if you do get approval, make sure that it's in writing. Remember, never do anything without written permission. Hold on a second, my wife's standing here and she wants to know about written permission from who? Um, that's going to be written permission from the structural engineer only. This doesn't mean the architect, any of the contractors, or anyone from the building department. The structural engineer has the final say on whether or not you can notch a structural beam. Don't forget to visit some of our other websites for great tips and ideas for home construction, remodeling, home improvements, and even home repairs.